Hey guys, this is Mark, and I uh, wanted to do a real quick video here on an error that I received on the brand new Dell i660 computer, which was just received uh, uh, March, and uh, I'm very disappointed in it, but I got it fixed, and I figured out the problem. So, if you are having problems with it, it's, it's very similar to uh, driver error, but it comes up as a blue screen. The program you see that I have here running right now is called Who Crashed, which is a free software. You can go download it at cnetdownload.com, and again, it's Who Crashed, a very nice program. So if you get the blue screen of death, then it brings you back up. If you got Windows 8, which is what I have with the Dell i660, this is the uh, how to fix this error. So the error that comes up or pops up, and it restarts the computer continuously, is called the it's actually called the unexpected kernel mode trap and I'm gonna bring it up here real quick uh, sorry about that here we go so I'm gonna scroll down here it is on Monday 6 10 2013 43 p.m. Uh, uh, GMT your computer crashed so it does say that your computer crashed what time it crashed it gives you everything and the details so this software is perfect because it tells you exactly what the file is and what to look for not only does it tell you what the file is, what the error was, and it gives you a conclusion on how to fix it. So it actually told me what's going on is the crash dumps have been identified as a driver software for hardware. And specifically mine particularly uh, goes to the wireless LAN device drivers, which is onboard wireless LAN card. And basically what I did was I found out, and if you're having trouble with this, you're going nuts and updating your software from Windows 8 on your Dell computer or even a uh, compact computer or HP, they're all the same. If you're having trouble with it, choose the Windows 7 driver. Latest driver will be in 2013 and not 2012. So folks, go check it out. Switch it from Windows 8 to Windows 7. The driver will work fine. I actually called Dell and verified this and they said they're working on the problem trying to get a valid driver for this hardware uh, for Windows 8 until then using the Windows 7 driver will not have any problems and I've been running it since that time and now it is 612 I've been running it since that time and it has not crashed so again if you're continuously having this trouble this is the best way to fix a problem get that software now get the software put it on a flash drive and put it to your computer and undo the wireless drivers or, or whatever driver it's telling you undo it or uh, I guess I should say disable it sorry about that disable the driver and then run the software so you can figure out what the problem is and then go to another computer if you have one and download that particular driver and its update and then put it back on the computer using your flash drive if you have one so that's the best solution I have, folks. And again, I've seen this in the forum of Dell.com. See anywhere else. This is the fix and how to do it. Thanks for watching. Definitely keep watch on more videos. And as I do have these computers to test. And of course, anybody else out there have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And I'll definitely post the video. Thanks for watching.